yes, I am. Got a lot to give to you, girl. Take me as I am. Hey, Hello guys, welcome to Box in Block Center, the home of Nigeria African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. Well, Joshua is back. <laughs> I love in Vietnamese. The old Anthony Joshua is back. I don't know how to explain that to. It's just sad I watered in the wind tonight. Sad, sad. I would have loved to see that fight. Yeah, Water still got a chance to come back. Still got a rematch that just a pogger fight. But I don't know if it was Ben Davison or he's got some new team members, you know, the strategies that work on. His mindset is beginning to listen. I know people will say, well, Otto Wallen, D's and Otto Wallen. You know, um, he, bro, Otwal is a dangerous alpha guy. It's not a, it's not a joke. He's not been stopped. First time getting stopped. And who stopped him? The unified, the two-time unified with King of the Universe, Anthony Joshua. That to me says a lot. It's just funny that just a Parker that Joshua beat many years ago, be water. Okay, we can see that was not a re that the rewater stuff like that, but he did beat him. Joshua was supposed to be on a downward power in a way, but he's the one going up. While Ward, on the other hand, has gone down, has lost, um, has lost motivation for boxing. I saw it. What do you guys make of this? Ibrahim. Bro, this is, to be honest, you, you, you ask the question, you know, you don't know if it's Ben Davison. Listen, here's what I'll say to that. We have to give Ben Davison credit because you know for damn sure, anyhow, Joshua put in some soft up performance today. He lost anything like that. Ben Davison would have got it. Yeah. He would have got to, oh, why? Too many trainers. He's done it again. Did it. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if we're going to do that, which for sure people would have done, then we have to give him some credit. So, I mean, we have to give him credit. But, um, to be honest, bro, this is because, listen, you know, as AJ fans, let's be honest, guys. It's like being a Man United fan, which I am. It's a terrible combination. We have suffered. Eh? We have suffered these last few years. Even even in victory, we still suffer because because you know you know we're gonna come out. The people are gonna say, "Oh yeah, but you know how was that performance? He still looks mentally weak. Is he this? Is he that?" And even us, let's be honest. Even in the middle of the fight, even us, we're going, "Hey, yeah, 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 hey, 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 hey I'm not too comfortable." You know what I'm saying? But this fight, bro, like just from bell one, it was just okay, cool. This guy just looks. Hey, before Bell won, remember I was, was messaging the group and I was going, I've not seen AJ look like this on the ring walk for years. He looked comfortable on that ring walk. He looked calm. I said, Rob, he must know something. Do you know what I mean? And you guys can attest to this. I put this in the message because I, I, I don't know, man. You know, he has this tense look over the last few years when he's coming now. It's like he's still thinking. It's like he's still... You know, he's got thoughts going through. He said, well, at this time, he was walking out knowing he was going to win this fight. Maybe he's, you know, just getting confidence from, listen, I used to spar this guy. I can't even believe this guy's talking shit. I am going to put a whoop into this kid. You know what I'm saying? He's spar so many times. You're thinking, what's this guy talking about? I'm about to beat you up, just like I've beat you up many times in the camp, you yeah? So it could be that. But also, what I think is, is um, you know, the commentators were talking a lot about his balance coming in. Do you know what I'm saying? And obviously, if you're someone who doesn't want to get hit anymore or you're apprehensive of getting hit, obviously going in is something that you're always unsure of, right? But if Ben Davis, I don't know whether it was Ben Davis or whether it was, um, I forgot what the, the, the previous coach is, you know, but if they've worked in that balance where you feel comfortable going in and then coming back out, right, and you feel comfortable in that, then of course that's going to that's gonna massively affect your confidence because now you know, okay, cool, I can still go and do what I want, but I can come out. 
right? And, you know, with, without the risk of getting hit, or even if I'm going to get hit, so I'm saying, I've still got my wits about me, I can still move, I can still dodge shots. And that in itself will give you a lot of confidence. So I just think it's a combination of him, of his, like, we've got to think about it, bro. Like, my guy has been improving since the loss. So I'm saying, and that's the thing about activity. He's had three fights this year. And whether we're seeing it or not, he knows what he's working on in camp. They're working on certain things in camp. So, of course, he's been improving, yeah? And now we're starting to see, you know, that because it's a new style. And what's funny about flipping, what's funny about boxing fans is everyone says, oh, when you get a new trainer or when you're trying to do a new style, even AJ said, I'm, this, I'm not that guy anymore. I'm, I'm, trans, I'm, I'm, I'm transforming into a new fighter. That's not going to happen in one fight. So obviously, if you're seeing him a little bit on show, a little bit tentative, that's because he's he's learning a new style. So obviously, it's not going to be something that's fluid or comfortable. It's still going to be a little bit in between your old style and your new one. You know, but now, maybe we're starting to see the new flesh because he was devastating in this. He was punching heavy. He was sitting on his shots. But he still wasn't like the age of, oh, that's just going in, blah, 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 trying to win all these combinations. Yes, he had more combinations than we've actually seen in a few fights. Way more combinations than we've seen in a few fights. But... He still wasn't that old AJ. He's now more calculated. He's jab, jab, coming in, boxing, style, moving. And now, you know, in this fight, we saw more combinations. So it's like he's he's becoming the fighter that he now wants to be. He was, bro, like this was this was good to see, man. From an AJ fan, we could smile again. Uh, we could smile again, go into his fights and feel comfortable. That was beautiful, man. Thanks, but I do appreciate your take on this. Mayo Joe. I yes, know I, I was a little bit worried that Joshua would slip up, you know. But no, 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 no. thankfully he didn't. Wow. Yeah. Did nah. you go in the fight? See, uh, Joshua pre- back? Is, gonna... is Joshua back? Or he's no no I, he's I, back. I, I, think, um... I think he needs to be active in the good he needs to fight three times a year. Like he used to. I think this this also helped, you know? Yes, yes. Yeah. I totally agree, man. I totally agree. Um, As a champion, he, he began to fight twice a year, stuff like that. That really ruined a lot of things. I think he needs to be active, yeah. I, I agree, bro. I, I agree. Totally agree. Listen, now, I think people also keep forgetting that Joshua has actually fought one in twice before. See, there is that thing about, you know when people started talking about how wild that beat Elenius in what less than a round and it took Joshua seven rounds to do it people don't people don't truly understand people truly don't truly understand exactly what 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 it what it means when you you've been in there with someone before you know the person even if you don't know everything about that about that person you know a little bit and I think that Joshua um it must be like I fought this guy twice I beat him he was my former sparring partner I know him I know his weakness, like <laughs> and people are going on about how Otto Wallin is gonna do this and Otto Wallin is a slick sapo and he's gonna I'm like, nah, like seriously. People cannot you cannot compare um Alexander Usyk's level, his skill sets, his, his warrior mentality to Otto Wallin. Who has Otto Wallin fought? Who has he fought? The only person he fought and lost. He fought Fury and lost. So, like, I don't, I don't. Really good I'm, actually, I'm actually, I'm actually quite happy because now we're going to be comparing the way Joshua beat. He beat him down, like literally, like he broke him down. He cooked him. You know how you marinate uh, 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 your, your your chicken or a leg of lamb. And you marinate it and just and just let it marinate properly and slow cook. That was what Joshua did, man. Like literally, and I'm glad that Otto Wallin didn't come out for the next round because it would have been knocked out to really, really bad. It would have been a devastating knockout, like absolutely devastating. So Joshua is back. Um, as a matter of fact, the only the only person I see Joshua, I mean, I see giving Joshua a big problem still is Usyk, still. But in saying that, if Joshua gets in there with Usyk again. I think it is now obvious. Everybody knows now that if you're going to fight Usyk, just forget targeting his head. Just keep going to his low, to his middle section. Just keep going. Just keep attacking that body. Keep attacking that body. Eventually, you're going to catch him. And and in the in the in the first fight, if you remember, Joshua almost did it. 
where Usi started pretending like, oh my God, that was a low low blow and all of that. So I'm glad for Joshua. I think that this performance, man, like just compare this performance to Wilder's performance. Jesus, it's just not like night day, man. Like it's just like you just can't compare. Um, we, we knew that Joshua was going to be. Oh, he's always had more. He's always had more tools than Wilder, though. Is this, uh, like he's always yeah, had more, no. tool, more tools than Wilder. It's just that I didn't expect Joshua to to be this calm. Usually against smaller guys, Joshua is scared. Huh? Like he's tentative to throw punches. The that the new Joshua, yeah. but this one is like a throwback of Joshua. And that surprised me. I have to tell you that. Facts. Yeah, well, it is, well, it is six five and a half though, and Joshua is six. So this is a perfect height for Joshua. Really likes fighting guys that are you know of his height or a bit taller. You know, yeah. he really and likes. Yeah, that's why it. the Egovich fight will be very interesting if, if it happens because Joshua he, is going to smash Joshua is not number two, bro. Bro, bro, Joshua is gonna Joshua is gonna totally destroy Egovich. It's not even a question of they're gonna go seven eight rounds. I am telling you now. Joshua is going to totally, totally destroy Ergovich. It's probably going to be a five-round job. I'm not even, I'm not talking like this because I feel like, oh, Joshua is on a high and because of this win tonight. I don't know if um, if Ibrahim agrees with me, but that Ergovich I saw in his last fight, I'm not even talking about the fight tonight because the guy he fought tonight was a total, I don't even know who that guy is. So, yeah, like, absolute. That, that man is a, is a Bro, where did they find that guy from? <laughs> I, don't I don't understand where they found that guy. Uh, I don't. I need. Mean, I need to. I, I need to find that guy's agent because me too. I'm, I'm open to a uh, sounding call. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't, I don't go mind. They have called me. To, go and pack up with and go and beat some bombs and you know. <laughs> they could have called me too. I would have performed better than that guy. Ah, uh, bro. bro, bro. <laughs> Bro, it's not, even, it's not even funny. So really and truly, I'll say right now, in my own eyes, um, so uh, the, the number one heavyweight in the world is Usyk, number two is Fury, number three is Joshua. I mean, I don't think anyone can actually argue that now. Well, um, but not so according to, uh, to Boss Rec, bro. Joshua no. is, num is number two heavyweight in the world right now. Okay. Behind, well, behind, behind, behind Usyk. Usyk is number behind one. Usyk. Joshua is number two, and in the UK, Joshua is number one, and Fury is number two. I respect it. I'm not gonna lie. You're just gonna they, that you know, you, you know that bo bo boss, re fire. boss, re that's they rank, they rank fighters by resume, not just like who is reigning or who has belts. They rank, yeah, right. they rank by, re by resume, and by resume, who is number and, one. And, and, and guys, and guys, let's let's be honest, let's be consistent here. If you're gonna give Deontay Wilder the same thing you said, like he has his fault, we have to say the same for Fury. We have to. We truly have to. We have to say we the same for Fury. We truly have to. Now this it, now it's is funny that the the, 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 the George was uh, uh, Fury's biggest win is against Joshua, and Parker no, just did something Wilder. crazy against Wilder. Yeah, against Wilder, and Parker just did something. You know like, what? Yeah, so, you know I what? Just, he just made so Wilder look like no, but the novice. You know what? This is so sad, from. bro. Guys, this just really now confirms to me that honestly, Fury is not as good as we actually people like. Fury is not that good. Hard job. Has been for everything. years. Okay, but guys, are you gonna say? Uh, do you think that um, the Wilder Fury trilogy is a lot out of both Wilder and Fury as fighters? Okay, Ade, Ade, let me answer that question here. Let me be the first to go. Yes. But yeah, would, you we can't, we can't say, it, yeah. would you also now say that all the fights that AJ has been in, right, has taken would have taken something out of AJ? So we can't no, really look at that narrative. No, come on. no I, I don't think you can make this comparison because AJ don't get the wins. AJ don't. AJ AJ's had a clear career. You know what I mean? So yeah, there, there's a difference. Bro, it's like it's like comparing AJ, AJ man. No, but, no, but what, AJ yeah, I know, but wait, no, but wait, it's like comparing you know someone like um AJ or even Wilder to like uh, Chizora and saying they're gonna wear that the same. Of course, you no, know, Chizora takes a beating all the time. So there is a difference, you know what I mean? Like those three fights would have taken someone like Wilder for sure. You know what I'm saying, like. Uh, okay, I hear you. So AJ has really been, you know, like really taking a beating in one fight. To be fair, like proper beating, exactly. you yeah. know. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah. And when you actually look, you see this whole thing people keep saying about old age, age, age. Age has always fought like this, though. Like, he's always been very, very careful. He's always been a boxer puncher, not just a puncher. You but know? Just not, just not as good. I think he went to work on the boxing part, but, but like, I, I, I do not, I, I don't think the difference that I think there is is. See, see the age rightly or wrongly. I don't, I don't know whether this is rightly or wrongly because I actually didn't like the fact that he didn't bust out today. I like the fact that he was patient today. Do you know what I mean? But the yeah. age of old would have fucking gone on a mad one. Let's yeah. be real. He would have gone on a, he would have been barraging punch. That's what I think the difference is. But then that's also a bit of inexperience. Do you know what I mean? That's a bit of yeah. inexperience because, like, when you when you got to like the real elite level, what then happened is okay, you didn't take a nap and now you're gassed. She's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm that's what that makes it that's what makes it a bit quieter anyway. Please, when you know please, you're guys, weak, if you're not speaking, please mute because it's echoing. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I I mean I, I was just saying that um if 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 you I mean what makes you a good fighter is when you know your weakness like aj has always had that issue with his gas tank and i don't even think it's a question of the gas tank i think it's because he throws so many punches and so many combinations that yeah. takes him out of you so he's now learning like okay i need to please myself i just i can't just go in there and expect to just bomb rush people and and take people out of there you're going to get to yeah. a level where you can't always do that so you're going to need to learn how to pace yourself and i think that that's what he is doing now it's like this performance tonight i must say that was a good performance honestly it didn't but waste I, 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 I was shocked i'm not gonna lie like obviously i'm only gonna back aj but like you know what people will say i i, I look at and, and it comes from somewhere it comes from the last few performances right because you're like okay could you want them comfortably but there's still this uncertainty just i'm saying yeah like it's been there today bro like that performance was like yo raw okay cool like it's not even like this is the old ages like this is a this is a different age this is some this is different you know what I'm saying? because he is a better boxer but now he's also adding the element where he's willing to actually step into the pocket potentially take a shot but there was never a point where he looked scared of going into the pocket he was going into the pocket and coming out easily comfortably you know what i'm saying and that is what i think is, is gonna take his game to the next level. Like it was a fucking good performance, bro. And those punches were hard, man. Look at those punches. We just literally, even the ones I was like touching, uh, walling on the ground and all of that was literally moving in. Like damn. Round one, when that first body punch something, I said, wow. Ooh, <laughs> those were hard. Guys, guys, let, let me let me give you guys my take, man. Let me give you my guys my take. You know, as as a bona fide hater of AJ, <laughs> I, I I lift my hands up. I give this guy all the credit. He has matured as a fighter. He's a different fighter. Right, today's performance was excellent. In my opinion, maybe some of you guys might rate it as very good and not excellent, but to me that was an excellent performance. Clearly, his two fights against Alexander Usyk sharpened him up against a southpaw. So it made it much more easier dealing with Otto Wallin. Plus, like Mayo Joe said, the previous experiences they had fighting against each other and sparring gave AJ that advantage. And this guy was looking phenomenal. I, I, I didn't even believe he would be able to land a left hook, but he was already landing the left hooks in this maybe third round the second or third round they landed a big left and i'm like whoa although i was hurt because i mean wilder lost badly and well it wasn't a bad it was it wasn't listen man i'm just upset man. he didn't lose he just lost it wasn't a big he just lost he just, he just lost right and i think the aj wilder i'll be honest with you guys i i salute aj because in this post fight interview it sounded so mature you know, yeah. man, the guy sounded mm. so calm. Mm -hmm. Man, re respect to AJ. As a hater, as a hater, I have to give that guy <laughs> respect, man. Salute to AJ. No, because that's true. Because he had every opportunity to slate Wilder tonight. He had all opportunity. And even... Um, all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the chance. He had the opportunity, but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Even Miller, he didn't. So... I guess at the end of the day, I think all these fighters and even us as, as the fans, we need to understand that this is just a sport, okay? There will be times where you'll be at your high and you perform really well. 
and there'll be times where you know daddy time will catch up on you or your skills wouldn't be as even like it's it, it, it's normal for everyone as we grow older right um we can't be our best in in especially when it comes to things that has to do with physical activities so like for me while that like talking about wilder now i think that really and truly right i've not been a big fan of wilder but like i said i started liking him from around last year two years ago i would not want wilder to come back honestly honestly and the reason for that is that right hand doesn't have the effect it used to have anymore i'm not saying he still doesn't have it i'm sure he still has it against certain opponents but if he's going to be fighting in the top 10 or top 5 i don't think that right i can't rely on that right hand anymore this but is to circle, it, to, circle, but to, to circle that back to fury because there's this thing about oh fury was able to take wilder's hands and got back up and all of that like to, to, to now circle that back is it really the devastating again because we don't know how elite that right hand is right in terms of at the elite level so with fury we know fury is chilly anyway yeah because fury is been dropped by flipping cruiserweights so it's like again is fury this guy like this is i want few fury is the next one on my hit list bro fury is the next, and listen he might be the top done like i'm not even saying that he isn't yeah. you know what i'm saying but like the way people let me respond to that in in fury's play bro just quickly the the way people talk about him it's like oh oh yeah he's the best of this era like and they say just so much like like obviously he's the best and i'm like but why like but why like i don't get that like where does that come from bro let me me respond brother let me respond you know what you know what it is you know because bro let's keep it real here man in 2019 Deontay Wilder was a sharp, aggressive power punching, power punching machine. So the trilogy boosted Tyson Fury's career. It also boosted Deontay Wilder's career. And after that trilogy, it was almost a consensus that Fury was the number one heavyweight. But right now in 2023, Fury is still active. Joshua is right there. I personally can't give Fury the number one position. I'm dead. Definitely not giving Usyk number one position because I thought he lost to Daniel Dubois. But I would f- slightly favor AJ if him and Fury fight right now. I think I would favor AJ because AJ looks, I don't know, man, he, he looks like he can beat Fury, in my opinion. I might be wrong. So that being said, I would definitely, probably, I can't, ugh, it's unfortunate that AJ lost to Usyk. Damn, because I don't want to give Usyk that credit. So you have to, you have to, I can't do it. I cannot do it. <laughs> I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. To, <laughs> yeah. Fury Usyk, let's see what happens. It's just making this era of heavyweight division okay, let, let, much okay, more let, interesting. Let me, let me ask you it's this, making it more interesting. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If Usyk beats Fury, will you give it to him then? If Usyk beats Fury, oh yes. I, yes. I wouldn't have a choice. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't have a choice, man. <laughs> I wouldn't have a choice, to be honest. You know, one one of the things, the one of the shameful things, really, is that these guys didn't fight each other when they were at the peak of their power. So it's a shame, big shame. And now this is what happens when you, all this politics of you know this side, that side, you know, a side, b side. This is what you get. But that's and, one of the best things about this side of the money coming in, isn't it? Like if you think about all the flipping people who are working together on this card in itself, that's just it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So like, hopefully but did, yeah, but did you, don't, did you notice that there was nobody from, from PBC? Nobody, because Wada is no more with PBC. I still think, in my opinion, that this, PBC is, is a big problem in boxing. This team of yeah, trying yeah. to match their fighters against each other yeah. is a problem. Yeah. We've been saying it for yeah. years. Yeah. We've yeah. been saying this thing for years. Like, like literally. You know the um, you know the um, what is it, Spencer Spencer Theron and Tunde Jai? Mm. You know the stand so yeah, yeah. Um, I love those guys. Had, oh, I love those guys, man. But they had the most of men come on. I forgot the PVC guys now. Not obviously our him, but the, the other guys from whatever anyway. I forget his name. They had him on and they said, yeah, like all these things going on in Saudi. Like when you say like you're not gonna you're not gonna jump in and then get a piece of the way you said, nah, we're doing our own thing. It's like, bro, what do you mean you're doing your own thing? Like, like yeah. it doesn't make. Like, it's so annoying. It makes no sense. Like, bro, let's see some. They fights. are a problem in boxing, man. They are. They really are. I'm sorry. They really are. You know that thing of keeping everything in house. Come on, man. That's rubbish. No sports does that. 
That is rubbish. We keep it in house, in house, in house, in house, in house. Who doesn't want to see? That's one of the things that affected the fight. Huh? So who doesn't want to see Javante Davis and Devin Haney right now? Exactly. Who, <laughs> exactly. No, but, but, but Haney is a free agent. He can fight in PBC too. Yeah, but that's not the point. I hear what you're but saying. But that's not the point. Why Why does he always have to be that way? Exactly. Why does he always have to be that way? That's not fair. But you are I, right. I, I, I don't know if it's PBC that is blocking that fight. Haney has done it before. If you look at what happened with, uh, with he had to go to Australia and all that stuff. So he's done it before. So I get it. We're not saying ultimately if you want him like okay cool that's the way but it's like why does it have to be that way why can't we just have a negotiation we put the money on if your money is bigger cool we do it if our money is bigger cool we do it like why can't we just have you know what i'm saying why does it really have to be nice we want to fight our guys we have to come over to our side okay guys like, um thanks for giving your take on this matter right here of course tomorrow uh we'll definitely break a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of this fight down and, uh, and the wordness for Joe. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Ray, before things. you go. Ray, can I just ask a question before before you before you end this this, this um, podcast? Adi, what do you want Wada to do from here? Because I've not heard your opinion on that. I swear to God, Wilder should retire in peace and go and enjoy his time with his family. I don't Ooh. think he has a skill set. Bro, I would have rather Wilder got knocked out by AJ than what happened today with Joseph Parker. But right now, yeah. I don't even I don't even care about the AJ fight anymore. I don't care about the Usyk fight. Usyk would embarrass this current version of Wilder. He's not going to land that right hand. So I think Wilder needs to retire in peace. That's what I think. Sad, man. That's crazy. Stay there, guys.